Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police and uh, things are picking up their uh, pace. We had a little investigation session uh, with Marty together and we decided to uh, ask Lewis about um, something, some clues we, we had because he is in a... Um, he moves in those upper society, society classes um, we are encountering here and um, he had some useful stuff and um, yeah so we're heading for a luxury brothel this time and um, let's just go <laughs> oh chapter two okay to Marty's delight we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville the separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. Mm. So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Is it another murder? Well, Mur murder? Murder? Of long <laughs> legs. I brought you myrrh. Thank you. Murder. <gasps> Judas. Silky skin and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Let's not get too excited, Marty. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. Yep. You have a wife at home. Okay. Bird fella, Lemur lady, and fox lady. Okay. Ooh, dog team. Let's look at the pictures. Uh, okay. That woman, she's familiar. Marty knows her. It's her, the broad from the Bloody New Years. God damn it, Marty! Do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Chicken bumps, more like. Anyway, okay. I don't know if it's really her. I always get confused by the exotic ones, but yeah, maybe. So, um, quick uh, fun fact here. So while cutting this episode, I realized that uh, I was talking quite the gibberish here and uh, it didn't make any sense because I translated something wrong, thought it was funny and wanted to tell you and um, yeah. So I will spare you that. Let's just go on. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. Okay. Okay, I mean, what pictures um, did we expect? Okay, okay let's talk Excuse to him. gentlemen, would you be so kind as to help me? With pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Can I, Sonny? <laughs> what am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Mm -hmm. Plucking lords. What is this? Like. Oh, thank you, honey. Marty, ma'am. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. Okay, so you got an open zipper too? Uh, zipper too? These brides are elegant. Just like Laszlo said. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> what could be the old rabbit's type? Oh boy. Fluffy tails, furry ears, a raspy tongue. Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. But just think about it. Please. Mm, I don't want to. <laughs> Marty. We should have left Marty at home. Ah, oh, this door. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, <laughs> every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here quickly. <laughs> Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather. Or how's my lower back? Those two are even connected, if you want to know. <laughs> yeah, old fart. <laughs> Yeesh. That guy gives me the creeps. Uh, I can see why. I've always What's told myself name? that birds are weird. 
What did you just Maybe say? Maybe it's on the list. Huh? What? Me? Nothing? <laughs> okay, let's talk to her. I think she must be the receptionist. Bravo, well, Mr. Detective. She's fine, the reception. Why do you have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years or it just entertains you to act that way. Yep. Well, you know, that's a good question. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, My name up. is Day Night Diamond. Okay. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Miss Diamond? I'm Sonny, and this is my partner, Marty. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name. And That's not her real name. Wonderful stripes. Oh, Marty is it thing for stripes? Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very <laughs> often. Uh, because he's married? <laughs> nothing to worry about. But. Gentlemen, there's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. <laughs> We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any okay. employees by that name. She's right not now, an employee. If you want. Like any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. No, so I'm we were sure about that. Fun. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that, Sonny? Any questions? Shut up, Marty. Yep. Okay, let's just look up her personal information here. And Diamond. A zebra. Beautiful, calm, and professional. And probably a Cartesian? Day Night Diamond. Pretty zebra receptionist behind the desk at Nile. Okay, new codex entry here. The bloody New Year's Eve. The night that changed Sonny and Marty's life forever. It started with a strange call. An unexpected visit from a tigress. And then mm, and ended in a hatching house where the duo had to witness an unpre unprecedented precedented <laughs> massacre. Sonny became personally involved in the case when a strange figure in a top head targeted his family but escaped before he could have been apprehended. In truth, the case was never officially closed, but under the pressure of the Attorney General, the papers um, had reported that the glorious triumph, uh, triumph of, the police, of the chicken police. This is where the legend originates from. It started by an unfortunate lie. Well, Okay, so Sonny's family uh, was targeted in this case. Maybe that's... We don't know for sure, but maybe that's uh, a reason why uh, Molly and uh, his daughter left him. Um, I hope we get to know more about that. Yeah. Okay, let's ask. Hmm, that's... I mean, I don't think the... Um, uh, we don't have to... Uh, pay attention to our... Uh, the order we ask the questions in, so... I wouldn't want to offend you, far from it, but it's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't, but, you know, here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Right. I understand, ma'am. So it just was like, police. Okay. Lewis. Do you know a gentleman named Lewis C. Hayworth? Oh. Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I just wanted to say we have to look up if uh, he's on the list, but I don't think he would have um, told us about if he uh, stood on the list because he was like, no, I don't, I don't know about that. But then we could say, hey, Lewis, you're on the list too. And um, yeah, he wasn't. So I think, yeah, we don't have to look at the list again. I see, yeah. How regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. House policy. We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any questions of that nature, please come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. Well, does this list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. Not sure? No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? 
I do, but everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I so, see. Oh, thank you. Nobody from the list uh, seems to visit visit the the Nile. Look, so. she gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was okay. this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while mm -hmm. you wait. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. I'm much obliged. Hmm. She's, she's gone now. Okay. Can I... invite you gentlemen for a drink <laughs> no thank you we're in a hurry sunny turns oh. down a drink what <laughs> what is this is relative what how young is this girl damn this place is clapped up do you think they're forced to do this body mm, we're not here for that so, but... just for the information we need yeah but you know what sunny we're fortunate to be able to choose what we do with our lives, huh? You are oh, already. Let's get deep you have here, the chance huh? to work with Santino Featherland. Me, on the other hand. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. Is he a bouncer or a guest? Eh, I'd rather not ask. Okay, let's go for the door. I apologize oh. for the wait. Please, come with me. Gentlemen, we so you were successful. My mistress, Madame Zavas, would like to meet you. So we didn't have the chance to ask the last um, uh, question. I don't know. I, should, I, I think it was about the uh, brothel itself. So maybe it's not that important, but uh, maybe we can get back to her later. You mean that, Madame Zavas? Mm hmm. Is it um, as far as I know, the lady on the picture her, here? So, yes. Please, miss, take Very us cool. to her. With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council mm -hmm. of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. Courtesan. To be okay. honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. <laughs> she could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector III didn't grace me with his presence. Okay. I have to pause the game real quick. Okay, so we are back. Sorry for the quick intervention here. Uh, I turned it's on the door. <laughs> hey, let's just look around first. Pieces. Oh, okay. Do you think so? It's the art of my people. I was just thinking she has like a uh, crocodile skin, uh, but that would be so cruel. <laughs> like, as, so uh, as, as clothing, not as her real skin. But yeah. Uh, crocodiles? There are many kinds of crocodile in the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. Mm -hmm. This is the art of the Nilonites. Mm -hmm. Ah, hence the name, the sweltering Nile. It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. Ah, interesting. Thank you. No. It's okay, quarter to twelve. Is that the time already? Have you noticed your clock's not working? How observant you are. That clock isn't meant to show the time, mm -hmm. it's a decoration, a memento. It's beautiful. Eleven forty five. What should it remember? Maybe it comes in handy. So. 
I I think she was like uh, one of the pictures in the in the lobby down there. What a painting! Congratulations, ma'am. Body. Did he congratulate her on her it's body? Indeed. Oh boy. It's more than forty years old. You know, I was considered pretty then. Oh, oh don't say that. You still look great, ma'am. Thank you. It feels good, but no. There's no need for lies. No. Those days are long gone. Every age has its truth and its beauty. For me, beauty is not in the looks anymore. I agree, ma'am. Marty. Every kind of book. Oh. Slime and punishment. Crime and punishment. The death of the horse. The death of the horse. Um Ah What's this allegation here? 49 years of the reptile? The, like what is the the film is it 49 years a slave maybe? One key to the animal mind <laughs> Doctor It's uh Dr. Seuss Owls don't blink uh, owls, sorry. Seven pieces of my mind. That's funny. There are books here on quite a variety of topics. Slime and punishment. Oh, okay, so there are books. Yep. Oh, that's a, a sofa or something like that. Just wonder what it, what what it is. Okay, then. We did everything. So she is the legendary Madame Zavas. Zavas. Okay, talk Let to her. me introduce myself properly, ma'am. Mr. Zadino, I know of who you are. Of course she knows. And I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police <laughs> is always one step ahead of the chicken police. Oh. Uh, thank you. That's flattering. Hmm. May I ask what you are looking for exactly? Here, on this night? You know, that's an interesting question. The card we've shown your lovely colleague... Belongs to an old friend of ours. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen for a long time here. Please, and tell us. The name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. I mean, yep. In my line I thought of work, so. discretion is everything. Well, you know, in our line of work, the law is above everything. I mean... Oh, do you think so? I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything. But, as I said, discretion. I mean, we're not officially on duty, so talking about the law here. I mean, they don't know. Look, How man, we know? don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation. Yeah, it's private. It started so. off as harmless, but now it's murder. That sounds serious. Yep. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask mm -hmm. your questions, and I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. As long as you're not wading through muddy water. Fortunately, okay. I swim very well for a chicken. <laughs> I swim well too. I believe that. Okay, let's quickly look it up here. A legendary spy and courtesan, courtesan, <laughs> Madame Zaivas runs the brothel. We'd better be careful. Her reputation is known all throughout the wilderness. Okay, let's look this up here real quick. The Nine Nile Knight. The Nile Knight is an ancient cult culture gone, gone extinct. It used to be a huge, substantial empire in the southwestern tropical region of the wilderness. One famous, still living represent rep representative of uh, this culture is Madame Zaivas, uh, the, the legendary spy master and courtesan. Okay, some information about. It. Where was she? There. Okay. Madame Zaivas, Gender Female. 
Her smile is fake, her story is fake, but the danger is real. Okay. Madame Zyvas is a spy and courtesan who was already a legend when I was just a little chick. There were tales about her beauty and her lethal coldness. Time never stopped for her. For, uh, time never stopped for her either, but she doesn't seem as, uh, any less dangerous than what the legends say. Now she spends her days at the owner of the luxur luxury brothel, the sweltering Nile. Okay. This place isn't just our home yep. with the girls. It's a sanctuary. Really? How? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Unity, love, freedom. Interbreeding? That too, mm. yes. Do you have a problem well, with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. Really? I'm glad to hear it. So I think this whole interbreeding uh, thing is like maybe looked upon skeptical from uh, some from these uh, those um, separationists I think they called them. Um, I don't know if this will play a bigger role or not, but yeah, we are going to find out, I guess. Okay. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. Let's uh, like start with the softer uh, questions and like work our way forward here because last time we just went by by order by the order. Um, we got thrown like um, further in the story here, and I don't know if we can get back to the lobby here sooner or later. So let's play it a bit technical. You would be shocked. No doubt. <laughs> Lewis, uh, does he come here often? Mm, not so often. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful, ma'am. Okay, let's ask about the card Tell last. Me, have you ever seen this list? I have. Okay. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? No, I don't think it so. It does, yes. Mm. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion is key. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests so have... So not opened. everyone. And our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. I thought so. No. Yes, thank you. Mm. Huh, okay. Do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, fierce. Yes, fierce. Thank you. Very useful. Mm -hmm. Question. Oh my god. Okay. We can do this. This time we won't. We won't fuck it up. Deceit let's let's go. Is everything to Zabas? She used to be a spy. Deceit. So I'm gonna take her every word with a grain of salt. Okay. This it is okay. That's what she is. Just okay. The detective meter. Deceptive. We can do it. Who's behind the legend, Miss Sevas? Who are you really? Who's behind the legend, Miss okay. Sevas? Who are you really? Just an animal raised to survive, Mister Featherland. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. Mm -hmm. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> but okay. you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. You should. Appearances, most of the time, are 
stronger and more dangerous than the truth. Are you really this, the king's spy? Isn't it dangerous being a royalist nowadays? I mean, this is the more direct question. And this one, she can dodge very easily. But I think it would help in our case because um, this is the social circles we are moving in. Oh boy. Oh, let's, let's Isn't it dangerous that. being a royalist nowadays? You know, Mr. Featherland, <coughs> those that are genuinely dedicated never care about danger. Oh, she's dodging again. That's something you must know even better than I. Do you think it's my loyalty that motivates me the most? If you do, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not loyal to the police, Mr. Featherland, no. but you are to your own principles and ideals. Am I right? That's Don't true, make this about us. You're avoiding yeah. the question. Why did you stay in the king's employment after the scandals that are making half the city riot? What makes you still believe so much in the institution of monarchy? You know, I always adapt. But only to a degree where I still don't have to give up myself and my ideals for the sake of survival. Okay. You'd rather die then. Maybe it would seem too dramatic or even romantic to you, but yes, exactly. I'm sorry to doubt you, but I've always thought your kind was rather compromised. Mm. Do you mean spies or crocodiles? Spies, of course. <laughs> I must disappoint you. But there aren't many groups as loyal and unwavering as the spies, Mr. Featherland. If you're telling me, ma'am, I believe you. Hmm, okay. Well. Oh! What is this relatively night? Is it really just a luxury brothel? Why did you decide to open a brothel? Hmm. 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 I think we're gonna go with this. Oh, I'm so bad at what this. What is the sweltering Nile? Is it really just a luxury brothel? First of all, it's what it looks like. Luxurious relaxation with the luxurious ladies and gentlemen. For wealthy ladies and gentlemen with luxurious needs. And under the surface? If you're insinuating that my girls are kind of spies, you're on the wrong track. On a very wrong track, to be precise. Don't they have confidential information on almost all the Maybe they bachelors? Maybe they deal Colombia? with it. Bachelors? Sell the information? <laughs> Don't be naive. Yeah. Almost exclusively married men visit here. Well, mm -hmm. then my question is even more valid. Yeah. Of course, they know much. Many visit here who don't care about sex, Mr. Featherland. Some come here to talk, and meanwhile, they inadvertently say a lot about themselves. So, I mean, they have a pool of secrets, information about the wealthy people here. We, we have to do good in this, because um, I think there are some people that are on the list, guests there, we uh, can get information about, and oh boy. Which makes them easy targets for yeah. blackmail, right? It could, yes. But even the assumption is offensive. What? I, I don't know if we, like, just cannot do it right. Because every time I tend to choose the wrong option here. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? No. I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but... She, she wouldn't. If I you wouldn't. guess right, I won't lie to you. Then, I will tell you you were right. Yes. Good. Let's see. The answer to my question. Natasha Katsenko. Well, Mr. Featherland, 
It seems the gossip about you is right. I mean... What gave it away? It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret, while someone's threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, mm. we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend and confidant. So she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever, so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Sometimes I get the feeling maybe Natasha has a thing for women, too. Men and women too, maybe. I don't know. But it could mean that she's a client or an employee. So we don't know. That would be an explanation where Ibn met her because he was being very sketchy about that. And he met her at the, what's the name, the sweltering Nile. He maybe got a crush on her, maybe more. And then he just bought her the Zar Club. Maybe? Just uh, making assumptions here. Indeed, Mr. Featherland. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Ibn Wessler. He fell in love if with her. If that's right. Gave her a job at the Millions Club. The rest is history. You have talent, Mr. Featherland. Oh boy. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I think this is my breakthrough as an uh, investigator here. I've made it. I think this went a very good way. Maybe we just couldn't um, gain her uh, trust here. I am working for the government. I'm a cop. Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? Ah. Okay. Indeed. Natasha used to work. Okay. We can put it that way, but you know, this isn't just the workplace. She also mm -hmm. lived here. She was part of our family. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Save us is a true survivor. Always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Mm hmm Why did you take her and maybe you saw yourself in Natasha? Oh, that's a very good thing, I, I guess. You try to shape her into your image to try to protect her from what? Everyone in the city thinks you're dangerous. Why is that? Okay, so if we play this to this part of her, like the survivor, Those both are very strong. But I think this is a bit stronger because it's personalized to Zyvas. So. Why did you take her in? Maybe you saw yourself in Natasha. She was only 17 when she knocked mm. on the rear entrance of the brothel on an unusually cold, rainy night. I opened the door this myself. It's personal here, Was real Natasha quick. alone? Yes, completely alone. Mm. Her left arm was slashed with an ugly wound, and she was frozen to the bone, barefoot, only a thin nightgown on her. Did she tell you what happened to her? After I brought her into the house, warmed her up, and changed her into new clothes, that was the first thing I asked. But no, she didn't tell me. Mm. We became very good friends, but I still don't know what happened to her and where she came from. Or how she knew about this place and the rear entrance. So maybe it's good that we didn't um, ask what she wanted to protect her from. Because she didn't know. So I think that was a really smooth um, smooth thing and we pulled off here. By all those secrets? That would have been she has very secrets too. Of me, don't yeah. you think? No, it didn't bother me. Yep. I make a living out of secrets, Mr. Featherland. I see. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Oh, I, I think it. Uh, we got some plus points here. Nice. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners. 
Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos. And she belonged to the upper class oh, of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody mm -hmm. found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the Stavonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. That's why I've always been rather fond of Natasha. Yeah. Did it touch you deeply when she left you? Indeed. Mm. It did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. Mm. If I concentrate on that, maybe she'll open up to me. So, look at that. We're doing good. Why did you let her leave with Wesla? Have you kept in touch? Didn't it occur to you that you could uh, exploit Natasha and Devon's relationship? No. Mm, protective. I mean, this means she cares for her. This, this is maybe not a good, like, um, question to ask because it could make her feel guilty for that. So, maybe. Have you kept in touch? Only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. She mm -hmm. writes to me every few weeks, and very rarely we talk on the phone. But I haven't heard from her in weeks. The truth is, I've started to worry about her. No. Did she give no sign of being in trouble? Never. No. Natasha's not the kind to talk about her feelings. Mm. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. Okay, that was good. When was the last time you saw her, Madame Zavas? Very ang- uh, Were you angry at her for leaving? Afraid she might blab secrets? No. I think he trusted her, so... When was the last time you saw her, here. Madame Zavas? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball, attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, and myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, mm -hmm. radiant, she was in love. Yes, in her own unique way. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. Or most women in the wilderness, in fact. Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. Okay. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you, madam. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her. And you know why? Of course I do. Because you loved her. Yeah. You've been in my shoes before. Am I right, Detective? Yes. I well, think Molly have. Yeah. This isn't about me, madam. Please stop yeah, changing she's the subject. Starting it again. I have yeah. felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes. And offended. But he, she I wouldn't hurt her. No. She's, Even amongst all my friends, she has nothing to do with the you threats, disappointed I in her? Think. Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time. I think there, that was detective. going good here. Yes. Any time. I mean, decent. I can live with that. 
That's how you do it, partner. Not quite like the old times, but you've still got the old rooster to remember some tricks, huh? Important clue. Natasha worked at the sweltering Nile brothel before Ibn Wesley discovered her and got her out of there. Okay. Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. Mm -hmm. I would like to show you something that could help you. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Mm. Even her smile is fake. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one too. That's exactly how I feel. But I think she's being honest with us about Natasha, so... Yeah. Maybe don't trust her at, like... More, but... Yeah. Anyway, now that we're here, we can take a better look around. Just what I was thinking. So, I think we'll make a cut here and um, look around, sniff around in her office a bit next episode because this was a very long interrogation and finally a good one. I didn't think um, that I would like get more than three stars out of like every interrogation or questioning here. But turns out maybe I'm just warming up as a, as a detective. So, um, I hope you will join us the next time when we uh, get back into Clovel's uh, mysteries. And until then, bye!